Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thank you for checking in. Well, it's been a few days. Been a few days, admittedly. But uh, back at it again with another review. And this one, all right, there are a few releases that are out, granted. You know, you always have places pumping out one or one new item to one extent or another. Um, but I saw Chick-fil-A brought back what was, to many, myself included, a favorite. It was originally released a year ago, the Honey Pepper Pimento Chicken Sandwich. I tried the original one last year. I really enjoyed it. I gave it a 9.3 out of 10. Uh, but this time around, they are making a little addition to it. They're also adding a spicy variety. Uh, so now you can get it with the regular chicken filet, or you can get it with the spicy filet. And this time around, since it's back once again for a limited time, I thought, you know what? I'm going to try out the spicy one this time around and see how good it is. And uh, granted, there's always, there always is a lot of interest in Chick-fil-A. I think a lot of people, again, myself included, find them to be one of the few chains that are still uh, maintaining the standards, essentially, these days. And quite frankly, if you watched the last video that I did, that Arby's disaster, honestly, I just want to eat something that, more likely than not, is probably going to be edible. So uh, I think this is my best shot at that. But anyway, all that aside, the Honey Pepper Pimento Chicken Sandwich, what exactly is it? Again, it is a limited time release from Chick-fil-A. It's a chicken sandwich, of course. You can get it, again, with a regular chicken filet or a spicy chicken filet. This time around, I am getting the spicy one. So it has a spicy chicken filet. It comes with a pimento cheese spread. It has jalapenos. It is drizzled with honey. And it is on a toasted bun. Price of the sandwich by itself, $7.55, which is a little pricey, to be honest, especially when it is not a meal that we're talking about here. But then again, Chick-fil-A, you know, maybe you're getting what you pay for. And in many instances, when it comes down to Chick-fil-A, the quality usually is uh, justifiable for the most part. And uh, we'll see if that holds true this time around. So it's going to be a very straightforward review. Chick-fil-A bag. And then inside the bag is a box with the Chick-fil-A insignia. And then inside the box is not another box, but the item. Can be a little messy, at least I say that from experience. I could already tell that it definitely is the spicy one, and you might say, well, how do you know that? Because the spicy chicken fillets from Chick-fil-A always have that little bit of like an orange hue to them. They're a little darker in color. I always notice they're a little more crispy too. And I will take it out There's a cross-section of it. Well, not so much a side view. I'm going to use this as an opportunity for a thumbnail, just in case. But you could see... Well, I don't know how well you could see it. On the bottom, if it looks like there's a little bit of a glistening appearance to the bottom bun, it's because there is. That's uh, where the honey is, and I sort of feel it on my fingers. It is a little bit of a messy sandwich, though. Jalapenos on the bottom. And then there's the pimento on the top. Has everything though that it is, that it ought to have. And uh, with that again, price $7.55. Last one I tried a year ago was very good. And uh, I hope this will be the same. I certainly do. Be interesting to see what a difference though. The spicy chicken 
delay is, and, uh, you know, hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully it's not going to be one of those situations like that McDonald's burger I tried out like a month or two ago, where when I originally tried it years back, it was delicious, and my hopes were so high, and then it was horrible when I tried it again. Uh, fingers crossed that's not the case here, so let's see how this tastes. The Honey Pepper Pimento Chicken Sandwich from Chick-fil-A, the spicy version, is going in. Pause the camera to save a couple seconds anyway. All right, now that I've tried a bit of uh, the sandwich, I'll just say, and I hate, you know, I hate that I even have to say this, quite frankly, because it, it sort of is sad in a way, but you don't know how relieved I am to actually get something for once have it here before me and think, wow, this is, this is really enjoyable. And this is something that I could actually go out of my way to get again. Not just something to go get and do for the sake of the video and then never eat it again, but something that I could actually sit here and think, wow, this is, this is pretty darn good. You don't know how relieving it is to finally get an item that's like that. Especially when these days, time after time, it's most of the time mediocrity at best. Or like the other week, something that is so horrid, you can't even eat it. What a relief it is to actually get something for once that I could sit here and finally say, Wow, I, I can't wait to go get this again. Chick-fil-A... They continue, they got it. They still got it. That's, that's the, that's the takeaway here. They still got it. Uh, one hit after the next, in my opinion. You might say, you review bra, you j you're, you're biased against Chick-fil-A, or for them, I guess, and biased against everyone else. No. Simple fact of the matter is that Chick-fil-A just obviously knows what they're doing. They obviously put a lot of thought into their releases, that's why you don't see them putting out a new item every other week. They put thought into it. They put care into it. And it shows. And they deliver quality consistently. And they're one of the few chains these days that are still seemingly capable of this. It wasn't always this way. Every, every chain, for the most part, used to be on this similar level, at least, as far as consistency and quality is concerned. Um, but Chick-fil-A never really fell off like a lot of other places did. And I am pleased to say that, again, they're still going strong. And uh, this item proves that to me once more. Uh, it is, quite frankly, excellent. Very good quality. The thing that I liked so much about the original Honey Pepper Pimento Chicken Sandwich was how well all the flavors went together. And this is no exception to that. Quality of the chicken is outstanding. It's tender. It's juicy. It's not tough. It's not chewy. It's not stringy. It's not rubbery. It's just right. Perfect consistency. Very flavorful. Of good quality. 
And still, at the same time, it has that nice juxtaposition of having that crunch on the exterior as well. Fried and breaded. Uh, very good quality there. But they got it just right as far as the balance is concerned. And there is that existing spice in the chicken, especially in the breading itself. Not overwhelming, not overbearing, but like a flavorful spice, I would call it. Most enjoyable. Then, let me take a sip of water here. You have the combination of that. So the chicken, the base, right, is a very good quality. You have the pimento cheese, which is like a pimento cheese spread. And that also, and I remember last year being somewhat skeptical of it, but very nice. Savory with this little tangy note to it as well. And a nice creaminess to it, likewise. Complements the chicken very nice. Has a nice flavor on its own. Um, but again, it does complement the chicken surprisingly well. And then you have, again, that spicy note from the jalapenos, which is concentrated, of course. You always have this baseline level of spice, which again isn't very high, but it is there from the chicken itself. Um, but then you have these concentrated bursts of spice from the jalapenos, and uh, that amplifies the spice level up a bit. But again, then you have that sweetness of the honey that ties everything together so nicely. Perfect combination of flavors, in my opinion. The sweetness goes so nicely with the pimento spread, with the chicken. Uh, the spice, again, is more so flavorful than it is overwhelming. Right, so there's a difference when I mention that this is the spicy uh, variety, or the spicy variant or derivative. Uh, it should be understood that this, as I mentioned, spiciness is more of a flavorful spiciness. There's going to be the heat there, don't get me wrong, but there's a difference between getting this and going to, let's say, a place like Buffalo Wild Wings and getting the hottest wings on the menu. You know, there's going to be a difference. This isn't one of those items we are going to be sitting there red-faced with tears running down your face, you know, gasping for air or anything. Don't, I don't think anyone's going to be going here expecting that. But it has a pleasant, flavorful spice. It's definitely noticeable. Um, but all in all, you know, the, the adjective that really comes to mind here is pleasant and enjoyable. And it's very flavorful. Uh, another example of quality. All the ingredients are quality. Everything comes together so nicely, and it's one of those items that is hard to put down. And I say that in a good way. You know, there's so many things I review where it's like, they're all right, but, you know, after I take the bite, I could put it down, and it's like, okay, let's get on with the show. But this is one of those items where it's like, you take the bite, and it's like, all right, this is really good. I want to take another bite now, and then another, and, you know, there aren't too many like that these days. So they got everything right, in my opinion. Uh, the only point, again, I want to raise is that it's a little messy. Understand that. You'll probably get maybe sticky fingers a little bit from the honey, especially. Bear that in mind. And secondly, there is spice to it, especially if you get the spicy one. But just don't go into this expecting that this is going to be like, uh, you know, the atomic wing is from your local wing place, or ghost pepper, or Carolina Reaper pepper, or anything like that. And uh, if you understand that going in, I think you'll be fine. It's very flavorful. Still a pronounced spice, but uh, very flavorful, good quality, very enjoyable. And all the ingredients complement each other perfectly. So Chick-fil-A, they did it again. Seven fifty-five. yeah, it is a little overpriced for a chicken sandwich, but you know what? Quality is darn good, and uh, I would say you do indeed get what you pay for. So... I can't really be too that, uh, all that antagonistic about the price because I'm very satisfied with the quality, and I feel I got what I paid for. So therefore, out of 10, what am I going to rate the honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich, the spicy version? I'm going to give it a 9.4 out of 10. Uh, I think the extra spice actually complements it a little bit, and they did an excellent job, excellent quality. Maintaining the standards, uh, yeah, you go Chick-fil-A. They, they did a good job, and uh, I'm happy to see. And uh, I'd really like to see more chains follow in their footsteps and uh, 
essentially uh, they return to the path of excellence and uh, Chick-fil-A, may they stay on it. One of the few that still are. But good on them. Another release and uh, knocked it out of the park, quite frankly. Very impressed. And with that, that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, The Report of the Week.